Hey what's up everyone and welcome back to a new video on the channel. So in today's video we're going to check out how we can set up a business Instagram account. This will be a tutorial that will help you either if you are a local business or maybe you are a creator or some sort of influencer and you're looking to set up your own Instagram account which lets you get more of the details behind who are actually on your Instagram account, when are your followers most active. It will give you all of that data and that analytics that you want behind your account since a personal account doesn't necessarily give you that data that you want. So in this case, the first thing you want to do is make sure you set up your own Instagram account. In this case, I'm already logged into my account that I want to use as it is going to be New York Electricians, which is going to be my example account for this video. Uh, so make sure that you're logged into the Instagram account you want to make into a business one. And once you've done that, make sure you go to the profile of that account. And once you're in the profile, just make sure you click on the breadcrumb menu in the top right corner. Once you click on the breadcrumb menu, we'll see the option settings. So click on settings. Once we're in settings, we'll have a bunch of different options in here. I would recommend you to also check out the security option, but I would personally recommend you to make sure that you have all of the security settings up to date on your account because you really want to make sure that no one gets into your business account that you don't want them to uh, because they can essentially get a lot of information about your business maybe you have private messages on there uh, to clients with personal details on your clients so make sure you have all the security set up for your account as well uh, but once we are in the settings we want to make sure we go over to account in account we'll also have a bunch of different options but what we're interested in here is going to be the blue text at the bottom which says switch to professional account once we click on switch to professional account we'll have a bunch of different details on the details on the professional account uh, some of these will be that the professional account on instagram is obviously going to be free you will get more information about your followers we will get more details about who is following us when they're the most active and what kind of content works the best on your account We'll also be able to reach more people through ads so once you get the professional instagram account you'll also have the option to run instagram ads by connecting it to your facebook advertising platform and that way you can advertise both on your facebook and instagram as well and then finally we'll also have the option to add more contact options so getting the professional account will let you add call to actions or buttons to your instagram profile this way you can have people either call your business you can have email option you can have someone visit their website or shop now there's a bunch of different call to actions depending on what type of business you are. So that is super good for you as well to convert some of those visitors to your Instagram profile, making sure that they take the action that you want them to take. So clicking on continue, we'll have the option to selecting our category for our business. In this case, you want to select something that is relevant to your type of business. For my case, I had an electrician company as for an example. So what I'll do right here is just search for electrician. In most cases, you might not find something that is relevant to your company. So make sure you find something that is at least somewhat relevant to what you do. So what I'll do is just search electrician right here. And as you can see, we have electrician, we have electronics, elementary school, electric utility provider, electronics store, as well as electricians. I'm just going to go ahead and click on electrician right here. Once I've clicked on electrician, we'll see the option on display on profile. So this is either the option to highlight the category of your business in your Instagram profile. You'll often see this on a lot of business profiles. They'll have that sort of category on what type of business they are. I like it, so I'm just gonna keep it for this account. But if you don't want it, you can also have the option right here to not include it in your profile. Once we've selected that, we can go ahead and click on done. And once we've clicked on done, we'll have Another step right here, which is, are you a business? So here you can select either business or creator. So creator is gonna be more of what I mentioned earlier, which is something more around influencers, or maybe you're an up and coming actor, or maybe you're a singer, or maybe blogger, whatever it is, that's gonna go more under the creator category. And if you're an actual business, which sells some sort of product or whatever it is, you are gonna land under the business category. In my case, I had an electrician company, so obviously I'm going to land under the business category. So I'm just going to go for business and then I'm going to go ahead and click next. Once we are in next, we'll have the option to add some details around our business. In my case, I'll have the business email, our phone number, as well as our business address. All of these will be relevant information for your customers to be able to contact you as well as find your store or wherever your business is located. So make sure you fill out this information and make sure it's correct and up to date so your customers don't have any issues when contacting you. Once that is done, I can go ahead and click next. Now we have the option to connect our Instagram account to a Facebook page. 
In this case, if you don't have a Facebook page or a professional Facebook page, make sure you go ahead and set, set one up because this will be an extra detail as well because it will help you with your advertising later on because essentially what will happen is that you connect your Facebook page, Instagram page, and then you'll have it in the same kind of ad center and also make it easier for you to just pull data in between both your Instagram and your Facebook page. You don't need to do it, but in this case, I would recommend you to do it. And once you have connected your Facebook page, you'll be able to get everything pretty easy. In my case, I don't have a specific Facebook page for this electrician company because it's fake. So what I personally will do right here is click on don't connect to Facebook now, and that will just take me to the next step. And there we go. All of the settings are done and ready to go. So welcome New York electricians. Our account is now set up so we can now learn from others, invite friends, share photos and videos, explore professional tools and complete profile. What I'm going to do right here is just exit this window and then we're going to be back on to our Instagram profile. So right here we'll have New York electricians. We keep your home bright and safe. What we can do now is go into edit profile. When we click on edit profile, we'll have the option to add our website in here as well. And then you want to make sure you set up all of the settings in here. So setting up your bio making sure that your profile picture is high quality and relevant to your business. Please don't just have a picture of something like outside of your window. Make sure you have your logo in there so people can actually recognize your brand and build up some of that brand awareness around your logo. Then one of the big features in here, as I mentioned previously, is going to be the button that we want to add to our page, which is going to be either a call to action, such as call now or email now. In order to get that button, we want to make sure we go into contact options on Instagram. So go to contact options. And in here, as before, this is already going to be filled out based on what you filled out earlier. But at the bottom right here, we have the option to add an action button. So clicking on add an action button, we'll see that we have a bunch of different partners that Instagram have. These are all going to be different types of companies where you can essentially gather all of your data. So if someone calls you, you'll be able to pick up that number and have it in a database. If someone tries to email you, you'll also pick that up as well. So here's really about picking a partner. Make sure you walk through this list because in some cases you're already using one of these partners. So GoDaddy, for example, a lot of you are probably already using GoDaddy and GoDaddy is in here. So you can actually connect it directly with GoDaddy as well. Once you've set up your connection with your partner, which is the individual process of setting it up going to be depending on what type of partner you have. But once that is up and running, you will be able to add your call to action buttons on your Instagram profile as well. Then going back into our profile settings, we are now already up to date with everything that we need to update in our Instagram profile. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and click on done. Once we have clicked on done, we have the final options on our Instagram account, which is going to be the new feature that you have right now, which is going to be the insights tab right here. So clicking on insights, we can see that we have a bunch of different things that we can actually get from our account. So these insights are going to be super helpful once you eventually start posting content. Because this account is new, we don't have anything in here. But once you start posting content and people actually start interacting with your Instagram account, this is going to be a super helpful tab for you to see if your content is working. Is your page growing? Are we getting more followers? Are we getting more likes? Are people engaging with our content more? This is going to be where you find all of that data, which is going to be super helpful for you and your business. With that being said, thank you all for watching. Please feel free to leave a like or a dislike on this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I try to answer as many comments as I can. And if you want more content like this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any other videos. And finally, if you want to chat with other people from the channel, make sure you join the free Discord channel linked in the video description down below. The Discord channel is essentially just a free channel to join. It's kind of like Skype if you never heard of Discord where you can chat with other people from the channel as well. We can discuss things such as website design, marketing, or whatever else you want to discuss. It's going to be in the Discord channel as well. But that is going to be for this video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the very next video.